Hi guys, Jess here and it is now the 1st of December and I get to open my very first advent calendar gift and I cannot tell you how excited I am. I am so excited. I get to open the very first number one present. So without further ado, here we go. And I've pretty much already decided that I'm going to keep all of the wrapping and all of the washi because I don't actually have any Christmas washi and this is going to be perfect for my December daily. So I'm just going to very carefully peel it off and stick it to the window ledge so that I can use it again later. <laughs> and I also think that that wrapping, like the actual numbering system, is going to be awesome for December daily. I don't even have to like create my own number one, number two, number three like heading pages. She's done it for me. So I'm very excited about that. But now to the present. Okay, so Katie is an odd number, which means this should be a homemade gift. And it is! Yay! Oh, look at them! Oh my goodness. So Katie has just got into stamping up and making cards. And they are so cool. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, wow. They are so awesome. So... Uh, Katie should have a tutorial for this coming up um, tomorrow or today, depends on when you're watching the video. I'm going to be uploading this video uh, on the first, on the second, and it'll include the first opening and the second opening of the advent calendar. And she will also have a tutorial on how she made these awesome cards. They are so cool. I love them. Um, I'm just going to lay them out and then I will bring you down for a close up. So they're all thank you cards. Um, and yeah, hang on, I'll bring it, I'll bring down the camera and you can have a, have a better look at them close up. Okay. Hang on a minute. All right. So there you go. Oh, they're so good. I just love them. Look how cute they are. Now I just want someone to do like something cool for me so that I can give them this thank you card and pretend I made it. <laughs> uh, shh, don't tell them. Oh, they are so great. I love those. They're so cute. Okay, everyone, back again. It is now day number two. Oh, I'm so loving the way she has wrapped these. Got so much cuter than what I could have imagined. So adorable. Look at it. Look at the polar bear. <laughs> Um, okay, come on, stop jabbering on and get opening. Come on, come on, come on. Gosh, that double-sided tape is sticky. Open up. Now, this should be a purchased present because she. this is an even day and she does her homemade gifts on odd days and purchase presents on even days. Oh, Katie! Wink of Stella. This was supposed to be my actual Christmas present, not in the advent calendar. Oh, I love Wink of Stella. Now, if any of you haven't heard of Wink of Stella, it's like a sparkly glitter pen. I'm pretty sure that brand or that particular one is from Stamping Up, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, so cool. I cannot wait to give this a try. Wow, check it out. It's kind of like an aqua brush with like the brush tip on it. Oh, wow. So I must tell you, I just had to cut the video a bit then because my packet doesn't have any instructions on it and I had to Google how you make the Wink of Stella pen work because it wouldn't go. And see how there's like that black bit dividing the pen in half? You've got to take the top off, unscrew the nib, take out that black bit and throw it in the bin because it's nothing and then put the nib back on. And the reason why you do that is because in at the end there, there's like a hole. You can kind of see a hole in the tip of the pencil. And down the um, shoot of the nib, there is, I don't know, a point. And it goes into the hole. And when it goes in, it makes all the ink be able to flow all the way through and down and out the brush. Now, it says on the side of the pen to push. Please, please don't push too hard. I cannot stress this enough. I pushed too hard and had an ink explosion. There you can see my big blob. 
it's fine. It doesn't hurt anything. But if that was actually your good work, you'd be pretty annoyed that you just had a gigantic blob out on your page. Having said that, now that the pen has started and going, you don't really need to push at all. It just kind of flows out. So yeah, isn't it amazing? Look how glittery and sparkly it is. It is so cool. Uh, and they are designed that once you stamp, you can add like accents and stuff to your stamped work to make it all sparkly and pretty. And oh, I just love it. Oh, I love the Wink of Stella pen. Such a cool gift. Um, there you go. You can see the sparkles. Yay. Um, hopefully that inspires you and maybe you'll get one too. Happy Christmas and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Bye guys.